everyone, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum. We're going underwater with this one, so the Spectrum shouldn't heat up too much if we're in cold sea water. Anyway, this is Devil Diver, published by DK Tronics in 1984. We'll define our keys, but essentially, you control a diver, but he isn't a devil, oddly, uh, and we must um, repair a oil pipe, or construct an oil pipe, avoiding all the fish that will kill us, or fry our brains out, and when we've done that, we get to the next stage. So it seems to have the classic elements of a simple, brilliant game, but we'll see how it plays. Here we go, good music. So I'm in that ship. You see the yellow pipe down the bottom there, we need to complete that. So here I go with a bit of pipe. I can uh, fire, and I can drop the pipe like that. Now once we've uh, dropped the pipe, we collect something from the bottom, like a pearl, and take that back to the ship, and then they give us an extra bit of the pipe. And that is it. So I suppose, like um, Jetpack, um, you must um, shoot everything and then assemble the bits as you go along. Right, so... Now all the time you'll see the air there gradually running out. If we spend too long we'd have to surface, but we get an unlimited amount of pipes. So if we drop it in the wrong position, as long as we don't run out of air and bump into any of those fish, then we're fine. Starts off quite straightforward, so hopefully I can complete level one. Um, but the uh, the wildlife in the water gets busier and busier as you go on. Now the water looks black, so hopefully we haven't spilt any of the oil already. Come on, Nick, complete level one. If you had this one back in the day, let me know. So 1984, one year after my favourite um, diving game of all time, Scuba Dive by Jarrell Software. So it might have been influenced by that. But uh, whilst um, Scuba Dive is more an exploration game with multiple screens, this is over a single screen, so it's different, it's different enough in its own right for uh, not to be accused of copying. Right, so I'm doing quite well here. So two bits of, of piping to go. The ship will just keep scrolling across so it never disappears like the one in Scuba Dive. ba ba da bomb ba bomb This is going okay, isn't it? Right, where's, there we go. So we've automatically got whatever it is we've got to take back to the boat. And then one last bit... And that should complete, I think. Oh no, we've got to, oh look, we've got to take one gem back to the ship and it's dangerously on the far right hand side, that magenta, oh that's going to be tricky, that magenta box. Right, so it's going to keep generating that until I can pick it up without dying. Some odd fish going across, I do like them, different colours. Oh man, this is going to be awkward, yeah I've died again. Uh, this, this looks like the rub, this looks like the bit that would have annoyed kids. It's one to two players, but if you do do it in two player, it's alternate goes. Well, a dubba da bum ba bum, a life on the ocean waves. He's got massive flippers on, hasn't he, this bloke? Right, what's the. Oh! Yeah, so a lot of kids, I think, would have gone as far as I've gone and then got, got um, stuck at this last bit. And yeah, it's Doomsville. Now, I do know a pulp for infinite lives, but I'll, I'll try to resist that. Let's see if I can do that properly. I've got it! Ow! I had it that time, so I'm getting gradually closer. Game over, player one. Ugh. A life on the ocean wave, you've got to be really brave, you don't want to get killed by an electric eel or something similar. Right, okay, so Pre, Na and Mum are already on the scoreboard, uh, written by J.R. Edmonds, 1984. I'm enjoying this game, you know, despite um, being stuck on a bit of it. I think if I can um, get off um, the first level, because there's, there's a lot of inertia with this guy swimming in the water, so you, hopefully he's coming across. I think as soon as you can get the, the use to it, I think you'll be screaming through different levels. Now, I'll put that pipe in the wrong place, like a big nincompoop and wally boy. Um, right. So it's it, it's uh, the 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 fishes are quite gentle. This I think some big sharks turn up later on, and shoals of stuff, a bit like scuba dive. So Nick, you've got to get there. If I'd had this one back in the day, I would have loved it. I would have played it quite a lot, and this is pretty special. Um, it looks like it's going to be a candidate if we do a live stream again, which I'm sure we will do because we do a few nowadays. Um, it'll probably turn up in one of them. Might do it alongside scuba dive as well to compare the two. There's another. If you want another scuba diving game, there's one called Scuba Kids as well. You might not know that one. Check out the review on the channel. It's all about scubaing. Right. So I picked up a blue cross. That fish was minding its own business, but we we uh, harpooned it for reasons unknown. Our man is just about as big as the boat. So how are we doing with this oil pipe? Not bad. There's a clam. We'll take that back up. A nice pearl. Why is it not doing the life on the ocean wave music? Well, perhaps uh, nice air bubbles there. Square air bubbles. I'm not quite sure how you do a square air bubble. If you're good at blowing square air bubbles, then comment below. Show off. 
If you're liking the channel and you haven't already, if it's the first time you've seen it, please consider subscribing because that keeps the show on the road in terms of the, the YouTube figures. I, I can never work out the YouTube figures, how it makes how it decides a channel's good or bad, but uh, please consider subscribing. That'd be most welcome. And if you want to help it a bit more, there's membership too, uh, where you get uh, perks there and access to the members section. Well, you, you, you see um, what videos are going up in the following week as well. Right. Du -du 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 -du. Now we know what happens here. Can I get this last box? I want to show you the effect. Oh yes. No. Oh man. I got I got really close now. What's that? Is that a magenta sponge there doing something? Right. Yes. Right. We must have it now. Get into the boat and we should complete the oil pipeline. Here it goes. Lots of black oil. Boom! 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 There it goes. Right, we've done it. The next section is essentially the same game, but with more nasty. Now we've got two jellyfish having a fight with each other. That's killed them. Alive on the ocean wave. Good tunes, good tunes there. What other tune would you have? Right, let's speed this thing. Now, Nick, you should... Looks like if you stay at the bottom, the, the, uh, the fish don't go right to the bottom, so you can walk backward and forward for a bit of a breather, but don't run out of air. How many bits of pipeline we got left? About six or seven? I highly recommend tracking this one down. It's addictive. Um, you know, it's retro power. DK Tronics. They did a few games. They did a few bad games. And there's a... there's a. Mm, I can't kill those fish. The Custard Boys. There they go somewhere. So it's... The longer you take mucking about, the, um, the busier the screen will gradually fill up. But the, the higher the level you do, the more complicated the fish. Right, and the inertia doesn't make it that easy, but I've done level one, um, I should do level two, I, I think it's going to get the last pearl that you have to get, or treasure, I think it's going to make it really tricky right on the corner of the screen, isn't it, because it did that the first go, they'll probably do it the second go as well, trying to make it a bit harder. I don't know how many levels this game has got, if you completed it back in the day let me know, I'm not sure if it came out on the Commodore 64 the Antro CPC, but of course if you know different, if you owned it, then let me know in the good old comment section. I love the comment section. Don't If you're watching this, don't be afraid uh, to comment. I typically uh, read uh, all of them and I sort of like uh, uh, answer the great percentage. Good, 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 good. Right, now. Yeah, so let's put it at the side again. Watch out for fish going between screens. Yeah, did I, I did it. Two stages in a row. We're flying now, or swimming. We're swimming along. Let's see what new fish are in this one. Right, there's seahorses here. Two seahorses messing around. A yellow one and a white one, and one's are dead. A yellow jellyfish. If you are a yellow jellyfish, then comment in the comment section below. How's the stuff going? Square air bubbles again. Very interesting. Right. Can we do... F oh, there it is. Oh, it's worth... I'm glad we got to this stage. There's a big shark there. The only other game that's got sharks that big, I would have to say, as we said before. Scuba Dive, 1983. I've never been scuba diving. I'd like to go. But, um, you know, scuba diving in England, that isn't particularly good, is it? Where would you go scuba diving in England? Let me know. I think... When I think of scuba diving, I think of all those tropical fish in clear waters in the Caribbean. That seems to be the sort of thing. In the UK, I'm not so sure. If you're living in Europe watching this, or the USA, you might have some good places you can scuba. Let us know. I think there's some good videos on YouTube filmed underwater. I love them. They're nice and calming. Right, we don't want to bump into any of these jellyfish. That is indeed what they are. There might be rain clouds raining acid underwater. Right, buff. Hmm. Now, they, I don't think... They go close. I don't... Yes. Oh! Yeah, I, I took off a little bit there, but if I stayed on the, the seabed, I don't think they would have got me. Right, okay. Don't run out of lives. I think uh, next to where it says player one in red, next to there is our lives, I think. So it says one L, which is which is one life. We can't get back on the boat, unfortunately, unless we take them some sort of like uh, pearl. I don't know what sort of arrangement that is. Do our oil pipe, but also bring us back some jewellery. What's going on there? What sort of company is this? Those wallies. Right. Right, there is the box again. The box of delights. Get it? Get off the corner of the screen. Oh, yes! I think I've cracked this one, you know. This game's lovely. Only because, well, also because I'm, I'm getting quite good at it now. I think this is great. Play this game. I downloaded it from a site called Spectrum Computing. Hurrah. 
Devil Diver, you're just a devil diver. Du, 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 du. Cliff Richard, you're just a devil diver. I think that was the I think that was the lyrics, wasn't it? Devil Diver? I'm sure it was, as they turn on a smoke machine, which would be no good underwater. I think the shark just stays white. How many shots does he take? He's gone. Right. Oh, what was that? We got killed by some sort of scarf. Scarf, like underwater scarf. There's no plastic in this ocean, which is good to see. Probably in the 80s, the ocean wasn't filled with plastic like it is today, which is quite sad. Game over, player one. Well, that's probably enough for a review, but I'm quite tempted to have another go, you know. Quite tempted to have another go. I think I will have another go. Why not? YouTube's got the uh, server space. If you're still here, then big hello to you. Let's do this thing. Right, so stage one. Let's, let's go on a bit of a speed run now, then. Let's show off as much as we can. A life on the ocean wave. Right, this is going to be easy now, this one. One. Take it. Let's take those fish. We've got unlimited uh, weapons, but that's not a cheat. It's just the way the game works. Let's take this crown back to the ship. And that will give me a bit of tubing in... in uh, yeah, that's a, ba that's a bad swap. I should I should do a deal with another boat to be fair. Oh, I should do a deal with another boat. This this isn't a good deal. I don't know what wages this bloke's on. Maybe he's on the same wage as Lewis Hamilton. It's the only thing I can think of. But yeah, there's lots of treasure it seems at the bottom of the ocean. That's why I want to get into scuba diving. You see those people on land, do, don't you, sometimes, with the uh, the metal detectors that uh, every so often one of them finds some Roman coins or something. If you went over the seabed with one of those metal detectors, that'd be pretty good, wouldn't it? You might find some uh, galleon with gold doubloons that we sunk on the game Plunder. Check that game out if you haven't already. We've covered it in a few live streams and there's a review of it as well. Uh, the revisited one. Right, I'm, make, I'm, making, I'm making quick work of this, this, this one now. It's just the only tricky thing is is that last um, treasure item, it puts it on the side of the screen. Oh, I just dumped the pipe in the wrong place. Right, let's take some of this blue stuff to him. Here you are, it's a blue badge of someone. Put this in the right place and then we're cooking, yes. And there's that sight and treasure box, or it might be just a shoe box. Get it, get into the centre of the screen. Here's your oil. Oil. And uh, everyone's heated for a while. I'm not sure how long we'll keep using oil. Solar power's got to take over at some point, hasn't it? Anyway, I think we'll leave that one there. I love that game. Really, really good. A classic game, simple to play, uh, and addict as well. Really colourful graphics and good music. So, yeah, track this one down. Uh, that was Devil Diver on the ZX Spectrum 48K, published by DK Tronics in 1984. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro, or any scuba diving tips, uh, then please put that in the comment section below. Until next time, take great, great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.